Ah! It's like, it's the most, oh God. It's the most, I want to make millennial moms horny ass shit. Oh God. Book talk is 50% of your audience. Oh no. Oh no. Y'all suck for that. TikTok F boy final boss. Hey, we added a sixth show due to overwhelming demand. It's gonna be the best weekend ever, so make sure you get your tickets before they sell out. Okay, enjoy the video. Folks, I've talked about many men in my career, whether it's E boys or soft boys or alpha males. I feel like they all sort of fall under the same F boy umbrella. And much like an umbrella, they are also stopping people from getting wet. And all these F-boy adjacent guys are pretty wild in their own little fun ways. But I think I may have found the F-boy final boss. The fellow we're gonna talk about today is a creator named Garrett Nolan. First off, I gotta show respect. He's got two first names, just like me, Garrett Nolan. Those are just two guys. Same as Curtis Connor. Those are just two guys. Garrett has had some pretty viral TikToks over this past year. And every time I see one of his videos, I get like really uncomfortable and you know misery loves company so i figured i'd show them to you and we'd talk about them today so this guy does a lot of like acting povs it will dance our socks off <laughs> thirst traps little comedy sketches you know he does it all but there's just something about his videos man he's like every f boy smushed into his best one is i think the one that he did where he was like girls that i mean uh boys that were mama's girls and boys that are papa's boys or something i'm it up one dude he kind of reminds me of that scene in fellowship of the ring in the caverns of isengard all the little orcs are digging out the big huge like bad guy orc out of the dirty like muddy goo and this orc is like the amalgamation why do i know this it's all over my ig reels and also i follow cringe tiktoks um as you guys know uh what was it the friend of the show's uh friend of the show's account was it 420 funny memes or whatever i forget what it's called 420 cringe TikToks. Nation of all the other little fave TikToks 420. Orcs mixed into this one super orc. And I think that's what Garrett Nolan is. He's kind of like the big bad final orc of the <coughs> F boys. And before we get into the bulk of this video, please don't go to this person's page, send any hate or anything. That's never what I want to happen with my videos. We're just goofing around here, man. We're just engaging in some buffoonery, some tomfoolery if we're lucky. All right, let's watch one of his TikToks. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Hey, breathe. Breathe. It's okay, love. Remember, we date. It's actually loyalty over love. I'm not leaving over an argument. I'm not leaving because you still have unhealed wounds. I'm not leaving because you messed up. I'm not leaving because you sometimes say the wrong things. We will learn together. I love you so much. I love you too. He listed like way too many things, right? But he had like a whole list of shit that he did not like about his girlfriend. Listen, babe, if we date, it's loyalty over love. I don't love you. But I'm loyal to you. I'm not leaving over an argument. I'm not leaving because your breath smells like a petting zoo when you wake up. I'm not leaving because the size of your feet. Hell, even if I did, you'd probably step on me with your humongous freakish ogre feet. I'm not leaving you because of your unibrow or your forehead or your butt chin or your chin butt. Together we'll find a way for me to ignore all of that stuff. I love you so much. I loyal to you too. But yeah, this Garrett guy does a lot of these videos where he'll like make up a relationship scenario where the girl is crying and then he steps in like, shut up, <laughs> it's fine, I'm the solution. Why would you cry when I'm me? <laughs> Here's another one he did. What's wrong? Nothing. Love, what's wrong? Nothing at all. That's supposed to be teardrops? It looks like they put like a spray bottle on her cheek. That's how people cry, right? <laughs> He's killing her. He's... You guys are just watching and saying it's cringe, but he's actually murdering her right now. He's literally killing her with his aura. Bro, what is this, dude? This is the female version of pissing alone, handsome. What the fuck is that? Well, it's okay. It's okay. This is the one he's most famous for, I think. Yeah. The thing is, I don't even understand what this is. This meme has been out and like Omega viral for months now. And I still don't know what this means. 
Like, what does that mean? What? What? What does this mean? Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Everything's fine. You're safe. It's wrong. It's just, I just really need you. You have me. Yeah, that's cute and all, guys, but you're kind of taking up the whole hallway. It would have been so great if this video ended with a guy just being like, oh, sorry, just let me, uh, let me squeeze past you guys here. Sorry. And you know what? I don't know what it is about me. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe I'm just a douchebag. But, like, who is this for? What, who is this content for? Because I look through the comments, and literally all of them are people just being really, really sad. Oh, to be loved like this? I want this, but I'm too single. Yeah, I wonder why. Your name is Draco Ron Simps. <laughs> Sorry. I wish someone would treat me like that. It would be nice to find a man like that. Maybe it's the side of TikTok that I'm on, but when I went to the comments, I was baffled, dude. I was like, why is nobody hating? What is this, pissing by yourself? Pissing all by yourself, handsome? What the f*** is that? Okay, that one is actually funny. What are you talking about? I'm on this right now, dude. Everybody in the comments are either sad about their own love life. That is so not the same as this guy. This guy is like very obviously... This guy is very obviously trying to farm, like, lonely women by being like, listen, babe. Listen. At the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, but you're not alone. I'm here for you. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. That kind of shit. That's what he's doing. He's trying to hit the spicy side of book talk. It's a lucrative grift. Yeah, he's just trying to get the liberal um, nerd women to be quivering. Anyway, who's the thermometer right break now? This is why we losing the gay off. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I've already. I've already given up. Life or just gassing this video up like crazy. Like this guy's comment. Give this guy a Grammy or something. A Grammy. <laughs> like like the music award listen you can like whatever tiktoker you want but i don't think this video is eligible for a grammy nom okay <laughs> obviously the person who commented this confused the grammys with the oscars or wait hold on the person who commented this isn't even a person that's a car a legit car left this comment dude and it kind of makes sense that a car wouldn't want to associate with the oscars cars was famously snubbed in 2006 and the oscar goes to happy feet George Miller. sorry we're getting a little off topic here it's just always super funny when dudes like this like make up these scenarios to make themselves look like a super sick guy i've always wondered this why is it that all the dudes who make content about like how great of a boyfriend or how great of a husband they would be they're always single. Isn't that weird? Obviously, I can't 100% confirm that Garrett is single, but I did listen to the worst podcast episode ever recorded. Just saying a lot coming from me. SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy. But the podcast I listened to was by a guy named Peter Vigilante. Killer last name, but here's a little clip from it. If I'm not allowed to like a post, which means you think I'm doing something devious, right? Ooh. That means you can't post a bikini pic. Because now you're posting it for devious reasons. Because oh. if you think that... Yeah. Take podcast microphones away from everybody. Take it away from everybody. Stand Chris post to your red carpet walk. Nine out of twenty. <laughs> oh, let's go. I got mocked by Austin, dude. I love how casually Hassan Piker entered the video. Hassan is back. These people seem pretty gay. What do you, yeah. You can legit see your slap on that guy hours later. Yeah, I, I, I saw him walking around and his butt was still, his butt was still red. You want to out gay the gay man? I tried and failed, honestly. Not Let's good. They going. had Garrett as a guest, and he confirmed that he was a single man. I'm a single male. And that was three months ago. So if I'm wrong, I apologize, but that was the most recent uh, piece of evidence I could find. But it's just so weird that all these dudes were like, I'll be there for you. I'm always there. I'm like the best guy. They never have a girlfriend, ever. <laughs> it's a fresh and fit syndrome. Like if these guys are basing their entire careers off of meeting women, dating women, being attractive to women, why aren't they all married? Or just like, 
in a relationship at the very least, right? Like you think they would have figured it out by now, right? <laughs> like that's if a guy was making like video production tutorials that look like this. So the first thing you need is a nice camera like this. And secondly, you need a good microphone to pick up a good quality audio. You know, no pun intended, I don't mean to single out Garrett with that criticism, you know? I don't want to just stoop down to ad hominem attacks, right? But speaking of ad, <laughs> let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Opera. I'm on my computer all day, every day. So I need a browser that can keep up with the 30 things I'm doing at once. And that's why I use Opera. And it seems like the guy we're talking about in this video is pretty obsessed with his features. But the only features I'm obsessed with are all the features that opera has to offer like aria by the way um while this is going on i'm gonna find the batman game uh i don't know if i have it in my library already i tried to download the second episode but i don't know what it's called chat what's the second batman called batman season two is it season two is it enemy within i'm downloading it right now it's enemy within right oh shit it's gonna be the joker Okay, okay, it's gonna be the Joker. Wait, where the f We're not blasting off yet. <laughs> I'm not blasting off with that. Thanks for coming to WeHo yesterday. Man, I live here. This is unironically the worst take I've ever seen. All the hours they were awake for their entire lives. In American history, in Egyptian history, in the rest of the world that had slaves, which is most of the world at some, some given point. I think like if they could do it, so can I. That video is a is a absolute banger. Wait, why the fuck is it not downloading though? I don't understand. Hold on. Oh, it's oh I have it. Okay, it did get downloaded. Wait, let me let me try to see if I can turn it on real quick. Nope, not letting me. We are supposed to play season two of uh, Batman, but I, it's not letting me. Damn, bro, it's a conspiracy. Do you see this? Do you see this chat? Oh, it's still downloading. Never mind. That's why. Yeah. Opera's native browser AI. You can chat with Aria to get quick, clear answers on whatever topic you need assistance with. You can highlight any text online to get a quick explanation, explore the topic further, or get a translation. You can also activate their new page context mode, which allows you to get any page summarized in seconds, and it also allows you to extract specific information and translate any text. There's tons more you can do with Aria as well, but I'd be here yapping for hours about it, so might as well just try it out for yourself. Opera also has a built-in ad blocker, which is absolutely incredible because have you guys tried reading Aria? articles lately it's just ads now i don't i don't know what happened and also loading all those ads slows down your browser performance what the hell and with opera you can get rid of all ethical reacts but fuck opera no disrespect to curtis all disrespect all to opera annoying ads which is one click for a clean smooth browsing experience and speaking of a clean smooth browsing experience let me tell you about opera's tab islands feature when i'm using opera i'll have tabs open for my main channel videos i'll have tabs open for podcast stuff other tabs open with like word documents and calendars emails etc and that can get overwhelming pretty quickly but with tab islands you can easily organize your tabs for effortless browsing it truly is a game changer so if you want to vastly improve your browsing experience in every way imaginable opera didn't link scam me they just use one of their social media people uh got on the fuck Hassan train so they could like farm impressions to download opera today for free you won't regret it i promise okay thank you so much to opera for sponsoring this video back to me okay guys let's move on from the relationship povs for a little bit garrett also makes a lot of videos that straight up don't make any sense And guys, I read so many comments trying to figure out what the hell that means. The best explanation I could find is if, like, if someone's hands are shaking uh, before they fight. They're auditioning for a musical. They're giving jazz hands. Uh, I guess it means they're experiencing a lot of adrenaline. And I guess if someone's experiencing a lot of adrenaline, they're they'll just kill you or something. I don't know. But a lot of the comments were just as confused as I was. When my hands were shaking, I thought it was because I was scared. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's so funny. Because, like, you probably were also scared, man. It's so funny. People think one thing. They see a video on TikTok that maybe could be another reason. And they're like, oh, okay, got it. That's why. You tell me any information and I'll believe it. Fuck, that's so funny. <laughs> I thought it was terrified, but I guess it was just the adrenaline. And I guess that wasn't piss coming out of my wiener. That was adrenaline juice. <laughs> but I think we all know why his hands were actually shaking. The vaccine. <laughs> it's gotta be it. But we've all seen that one video of the girl's legs shaking after she got the vaccine. I'll have a cheese after. Thanks a lot, Pfizer. Pfizer, I hardly know her. And you never want to fight a guy who's had the vaccine, because then you're gonna catch it. That's why I wear a mask. He makes one joke about Pfizer. He doesn't get a content notice. I make not even a joke, but like whatever I talk about, whenever I talk about Israel, there's like a content notice under my YouTube page for the Holocaust. Okay? As though I'm like a Holocaust denier or some shit. What's up with that? Like literally. Victed him. I mean, like, this found was him all. Guilty. 2020 election, United States election. Like I'm an election denier or something. Or there was one about climate change. Sam Houston, 69. Holy moly. I'm Top is really good. Okay, this one doesn't have anything. Israel has gone too far. United Nations climate change refers to long term shift in temperatures. Anyway, Ask everywhere I go, because I don't want to catch the vax. <laughs> Garrett also made another fighting video in this style, so let's check that one out too. This is the classic. This is the one that blew up. That was awesome. So let me break it down. He's saying that uh, guys raised by their dads, they want to stand and fight, but guys raised by their moms, they wear button up shirts and walk away. I don't know how accurate that is. I feel like dads walk away from shit all the time. In my own life, I've seen at least one dad walk away from a tough situation. <laughs> you know, if we're being realistic here, the kid raised by their dad would actually be the one walking away but then you still see them on weekends and Christmas. I think this is my favorite video of Garrett's though, because before this, nobody was hating. So I was starting to feel like a douchebag thinking that these videos were like a little strange. But this was the video that finally had people being like, you know what, what are you talking about? Because obviously, this isn't true. Some kids who were raised by their moms were dickhead bullies because their mom sucked. And some kids raised by both parents were dickhead bullies because Wait, they, they like, what did they understand on this video that I just don't understand? Because I watched this video and I did not understand what the f the message was at all, bro. At all. I don't get it. Because both their parents suck. So it was nice to see people goofing on this video a little bit. And this actually spawned a tiny trend of people like stitching this TikTok. <laughs> Hilarious. That's great. And I thought this trend was really funny, so I made one myself. What? <laughs> and obviously Garrett's content is harmless. Mostly. Some of the content starts getting into some strange territory. Batman is officially downloaded. Hey baby, I'm home. I haven't seen you in a while. It's been five years. Whoa, what the f Three months, 25 days, four hours. What the f He's a stalker. So yeah, it's a video of him breaking into an ex-girlfriend's house and going through all their shit. You know, total stalker mode. AKA, a super crazy thing to do when a huge up crime and hey maybe it's just like an acting thing an acting practice to be like a weird guy i get it but like all the comments are eating this up for like the worst reasons why is this hot though why does this make me wanna a stalker boyfriend respectfully you can break into more than just my house if i had someone this obsessed with me i'd be so happy jesus christ bro we're not gonna see the light of allah in our in our lifetime it's over is joe over society has collapsed Boys, it's not happening, okay? If you look at it, you take one peek at TikTok comments and you will personally recognize that shit ain't right, shit is busted, and it will never be fixed, okay? Irreparable harm, oh my lord, Jesus, lord mercy. People are just so desperate, so horny, so, so alone, so isolated. What is happening? It's good that TikTok is getting banned. I'm on board with it now. 
I'm anti-CCP. Guys, go to therapy. Obviously go to therapy or just go outside. Either one of those, okay? This should not get you all hot and bothered. This should only... Isn't it the same when people thirst over you? Hasanabe ain't a hater. No, it's not the same because when people thirst over me, it's over me like making a uh, thirst pose where I'm like, oh, free Palestine or whatever. It's like, it's not me being like, here, here I am breaking into my ex-girlfriend's house and people are like, oh, it's so hot. Oh, yeah. Only get you bothered. If this is attractive to you, someone breaking into your house, you're weird. That's weird. And before you comment, hey, hey don't kink shame, I'm not. Okay? Because that isn't a kink. That's a crime. It ain't a kink. It's a crime. This is like a gnarly, life-ruining crime, okay? I don't think that should be a, a kink. Your Honor, we have unrefutable evidence that this man murdered his ex-girlfriend. A truly heinous act. All right. Objection, Your Honor. No kink shaming. What do you mean kink shaming? It's literally murder. No, he's right. Okay, I will not tolerate any kink shaming in my court. You gotta be kidding me. This is bullshit. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> Sorry, getting yelled at is my king. Oh my god, what kind of judge are you? A bad one, you should spank me. And all the other comments on this stalking video were a reference to a community on TikTok called Book Talk. It was flooded with comments like, Book Talk, y'all here? And uh, Garrett threw a heart on that one. Book Talk is gonna go feral. Book Talk girlies assemble. Ugh, Book Talk has ruined me. And I foolishly thought, What the fuck is Book Talk? Is it mentally unwell women getting together and hoping that they get stalked? What is this? Book talk was just a community on TikTok where people talk about the books they like. And that is true to an extent, but I found out book talk is mostly just straight up smut. Oh no! It's a vast community of probably the horniest people on the planet. And whenever there's like a guy with tattoos and long hair and like a deep voice and muscles, all the comments on the videos are like, Oh, Book Talk's here. Book Talk has been summoned. If Book Talk wants more of this, Book Talk can have more of this. Ah! And hey man, I'm all- ah! It's like, it's the most, oh God. It's the most, I want to make millennial moms horny ass shit. Oh God. Book talk is 50% of your audience. Oh no. Oh no. All for people getting their rocks off, especially to just words on paper. That's hilarious. Reading a sentence and then getting a boner about it is genuinely one of the funniest mm. things of all time. <laughs> Dude, getting turned on by literature, are you kidding me? Whenever they read an essay, they're like, damn, look at that body. Sorry, book talk as a whole is a topic for another video, I think. But Garrett plays into this typical book talk character a lot. You know, he's got the tattoos, the muscles, he's handsome. Okay, I'll say it, he's handsome. He's a good looking guy. And he shows all of that off in his various thirst trap videos. Sorry, he's walking towards me with a hammer. I got scared. Is that why construction always takes so long? Dudes are on the side of the road just thirst trapping all day. Those hats used to be soft, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's got a lot of thirst trapping videos on his account. And hey, man, that's your wiener. Okay, got it. <laughs> Jeez. That's your entire wiener right there. Hello. Hi. That's gnarly, dude. I mean, at the very least, his videos are like the true lesbian test like if you're unsure if you're a lesbian or not i can just scroll through this guy's page like fucking jeez man <laughs> flashing full meat on main this is gonna sound rich from a commentary youtuber but like what are you doing dude men used to go to war never mind he's still doing it He's left-handed. He's still going to war. Damn, give this guy a Grammy. So that video is pretty impressive, but like, dude, it is. So uh, I'm gonna be the rap fam, and your dude. Worst part about having a longer mustache is uh, it just keeps getting in my mouth. Uh, I'm gonna be the rap fam in your chat and say the more misogynist the population is, the more women have fantasies about dubious consent and is an escapist fantasy, so women don't have to be culpable of what happens during sex, i.e., an excuse to have sex without shame. I just. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to respond to that. I don't know. Super funny to put on like a bulletproof vest and look all super tough and stuff and flex your guns while the gun is making like the cutest noise ever. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> the TikTok F boy genre has always been like really fascinating. Typical Canadian doesn't understand this, that ping is actually a successful hit on a tin target. Okay. To me. Because how I else are you going to know?
How else are you going to know that he's successfully hitting a steel target? I think the most intriguing thing about them is like their journey to become one, right? Because they're not born, they're made. Just a few years ago, Garrett... Yeah, I, I'm willing to bet that like those are edited in though. I, I don't know if he actually hit that. Wasn't doing this style of content at all. He actually used to brand himself as Garrett with Ivan the Cat. And he would make videos like this. Time to go to sleep, okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm actually really glad he stopped doing this kind of content. Dude, honestly, honestly, dude. I'm not even going to say it. You know what I'm going to say, and I'm not going to say it because all I will say is half of the chat now aligns with him even more than they did before. Just average cat owner. I said it. I, I, just, typical what cat owner, dude. What the fuck, man? This poor cat, man. What the hell? I feel like even a serial killer would be like, yo, he's up on the cat, man. You're, you're being a little too rough on him. Like, dude, he has a full My Cat Bites Me When I Sing Mega Mix on his channel. That's a half hour long. Uh -huh. And first off, if you're watching a full half hour of the same annoying bit over and over again, you're cooked. Sorry to break it to you, you're absolutely cooked. You're done. And secondly, I don't think your cat bites you when you sing. I think your cat is biting you because you're holding on to it and won't let it go when it's clearly telling you that it wants to be let go. And dude, all the comments are like, oh my god, it's so funny. And it's like, hey, no, it's not. <laughs> like, not even a little bit. It's not funny. It's it's just bad pet ownership. Like, what a rebrand that was, eh? Yeah, I used to hold my cat hostage, now I scream. It's funny to compare, like, the, the current Garrett to the old Garrett with Ivan the cat. Because now his whole shtick is, like, being attractive to women and stuff. But, like, treating an animal like this is, like, the biggest possible red flag, I think, right? Yeah, I guess I'm not like those other tall, handsome, buff, tattooed men. I'm also sensitive. I'm attentive and I'm gentle, too. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's my cat. <laughs> One second. Hi. Come here. So, you ever heard of Book Talk? I'm gonna you know, show those you videos exactly are old. Dogs I'm sure are he's moved on from them. I'm glad he doesn't do them anymore. But just a piece of advice like, you're kind of ruining your whole every girl wants me bit. If you have a half hour video on your YouTube channel of you mishandling pussy. Uh, yeah! In conclusion, I think I was goofing on his content pretty hard, maybe a little too hard, but comparing it to his old cat hostage videos, his new content is awesome, dude. So you know what, Garrett? Keep it up. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick, silly little video. I've got some longer videos coming up in the near future I'm very excited for, but I wanted to goof around a little, if that's okay. If you guys liked the video, please press the like button because believe it or not, one like equals one cat i will rescue from singing men and leave a comment or i'm gonna start screaming also please press the subscribe button we are so close to five million let's get it what are you waiting for press the damn button because as soon as you press the subscribe button you become a valued citizen of curtis town if you didn't know curtis town is the best place to live in the world and i'm the mayor of curtis town so you have to be nice to me it's the law you can check the description for tickets to my irvine shows coming up they're selling out so you better freaking grab tickets okay don't sleep okay thank you so much for watching i would stick around but unfortunately i have to go because my hands are shaking I need to go to the doctor. Bye-bye. a hundred pounds.